removed all the fucking cookies, caches and what else, whatever. Anyway, hello. Not got a lot of news. The scooter's got a slow puncture. I bought a pump from Wilkinson's, otherwise known as Wilco's. You know, the kind of pump you pump bicycle tyres up with. And uh, great expense, £2. <gasps> oh my god, let me check my bank balance. But uh, I think it needs a new tube. Turn the mic around, I can't. It's jammed. Uh, yeah, more expense. Uh, of course, you know, uh, the, uh, the, the scooter was given to me by the British Legion but the batteries and tyres are my responsibility and I can't complain of course I wouldn't complain anyway as you know <laughs> <sighs> and what else has happened? No a lot no, no fucking accident out here the other night that dog I told you yeah and I put it on that website spotted in Carlton oh my god all the women turned on me well it was posted anonymously well, you know, uh, if I comment, I'm going to have to get rid of my photo, put a something up instead of a photo, because I'm quite well known around here. It was a local dog. She said the somebody left the gate up. My fucking dog's been killed. And if I find out who it is, well, of course, you know, speeding motorist, well, you saw, didn't you? I videoed it from the window of the car and it just left the bloody traffic lights speeding. It's not a fucking motorway out there, it's an ordinary road, station road. I'm not putting out I'm not putting anything else on that website, spotted in Carlton. Snotty fucking women. I'm sorry to I'm not being chauvinist, but it was all women, you know. And of course dog lovers. Well I mean I've had dogs and I've been a driver for over fifty Who's that? Fuck off. I've been a driver for over 55 years. I started driving when I was about 20. And I'm 76 now. And uh, uh, in that time I've flattened many stray animals. Cats, dogs, hedgehogs, foxes, uh, rabbits. You name it. There's absolutely no way in the world I'm going to slam my brakes on and stop dead and risk somebody smashing into the back of my vehicle or swerve and possibly cause an accident just to avoid a stray animal in the road when I drove the trolley buses a large dog ran out in front of the trolley bus bang well the big wheel didn't go over it pushed it and of course it skinned it when I got out to have a look well, because you could see all its internal organs and this woman came up to me beat him on the chest you what beast uh, uh, well I mean I weren't going to stop dead and throw all the passengers out the fucking seats was it I was driving a double deck trolley bus and I weren't going to swerve and throw old ladies on the floor you know I mean alright uh, oh god can't some of these people use a bit of common sense I'm sure that a lot of you drive for a living don't you and are you telling me that if a stray dog, cat, fox or whatever ran out in front of you, you'll slam the brakes on and stop dead? Because if you do, you'll have a tree behind you, bang, the car following you. Yeah. Or if you go and swerve, like uh, I said a thing, when uh, I was driving the trucks, uh, uh, agency driver for P&O Birmingham, he left Felix, he left Felix Stowe Docks one morning with a, a fully loaded container. He was running at 44 tonne and a fox ran out in front of him. He swerved and put the truck in the hedge bottom. And of course he had to get heavy equipment to lift the truck out or to sack the driver on the spot. Quite right too. Imagine if you were the owner of that truck and a driver put it in the hedge bottom swerving to avoid it hitting the fox. So please you dog lovers don't turn on me. Right. Because I'm stating facts. Whatever happened to common sense? Eh? Alright, what else? 
certain subject I'm not going to touch on uh, the Muslims a uh, lot of fake reports going up uh, you can't believe everything <laughs> you certainly can't believe uh, everything you see on the internet news reports and look at the time our social evening starts I'm doing the quiz tonight let me what, how long has it gone on for here hang on where's the quiz I've got it tighter right let me try you lot out I think this was from Sam, who was the director of the film The Passion of the Christ. It was painful to watch, I saw it twice, saw it with Mavis. Who was the director? I shall, I shall have to give him a clue, I'll tell him a well-known actor who turned to directing. Do you know who it was? What's the richest country in the world? Eh? Uh, oh yeah, it is one. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, the Terminator, spell Schwarzenegger. I don't think anybody will get that spelling right, will they? One from my nephew. What body part is also the name of a ship's toilet? Do you know that? Any of you? Eh? Uh, what else? Who played in The Last of the Summer Wine? Who played Foggy? I didn't have to look that up, I knew. Which James Bond film with Sean Connery is not an official Bond film? Do any of you lot know? I don't know why I'm bothering because I won't get any fucking replies. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, what's the furthest east? What town is the furthest east in England? I'll tell you the answer to that because I'm an ex trucker. Lowest oft. So, do you know any of them answers? Hey? I'm going. I ain't got no more spare time. Right. All the best. Come on, here we go. Bye. <laughs> Come on. Bye. <laughs>